What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down and answering the question that so many brand owners have when it comes to advertising on any channel. And the question is, how much should you be spending on your ads budget every single month? I'm gonna show you the calculator that we use internally at our agency to answer this for our clients. And I'm actually gonna leave a link to that calculator in the description so you can go ahead and figure out how much you should be spending on ads yourself to determine as well, what is your break even return on ad spend, which is all ultimately how we're going to go ahead about thinking this. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, before we actually dive into talking about the actual calculator and how to use it, I want to talk to you why we're actually looking to figure out what our break even return on ad spend is. And that's actually gonna allow us to figure out how much we should be spending on our marketing. Because at the end of the day, I totally understand wanting to figure out what your monthly or even your daily budget should be in terms of ad spend, but none of that really matters if you don't understand your break even cost per acquisition and work your way backwards from there to figure out what your goal cost per acquisition should be. And then that'll show you how much you should be able to spend in regards to your Facebook, your Google ads, whatever the case may be. And the reason we're actually looking to figure out what the break even cost per acquisition is, is because we need to figure out at the very high end, what is the absolute most that we can spend to acquire a customer for your brand or for your business and either break even or make sure that we are first order profitable every single time with our marketing. And as always, guys, all the links are in the description, whether you want to work with our agency, whether you need help with your conversion rate optimization, your user generated content, your paid advertising or your emails and SMS, as well as the link to our inner circle. If you're interested in one on one coaching and access to all of our agency SOPs, and I would really appreciate it if you guys could go ahead and leave a like at this point as it really does help with the algorithm so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the calculator and i'll show you how to use it okay guys awesome so now we're on the calculator and you can see this is the facebook ads and i make money calculator obviously you can go ahead and supplement this not just for facebook ads but again this is really to understand what your break even return on ad spend is and how you can go ahead and figure out getting those numbers so the calculator i'm going to change all of these numbers to zeros i'll walk you through this individually here and you can see basically everything is changing in regards to how we change the green numbers here. So you can see on the left hand side, we have a ton of different things. This is under product slash service name, right? So uh, this is, <laughs> didn't even notice that heavenly toad. I think that was like an old brand we did an audit for. So I <laughs> forget about that. But guys, so again, on the left hand side, you can see there's a few different things here. I'm going to break them down individually. So AOV, this is going to be your average order value for your brand. Then you have product costs credit card fees, merchant account fees, shipping costs, fulfillment cost per unit, the total cost of the product plus fulfillment. Then there's gonna be the percentage of basically the cost, like what is the cost relative to your revenue and then gross profit margin and then the expected gross profit slash break even cost per acquisition. That's what this should say as opposed to return on ad spend. And then at the bottom here, it's just gonna kind of break down your targets as opposed to these things. And on the right hand side, this is where you're gonna implement your fixed fees per order for your brand. So things like credit card fees, merchant processing fees, shipping costs, fulfillment costs per unit, and the product costs, you know, for an individual product, right? So obviously it's very hard to come up with these numbers on a, you know, a very specific basis and be 100% accurate here. So this is going to be a little bit average and that's why we're looking at things like our average order value, not individual products. So overall, obviously, if you have multiple products inside of your brand and in your store, this is going to be a little bit different because you might want to do this for each individual product and kind of come to an average there. That's why, you, you know, it's better to just look at, you know, what's your average order value? What's your average cost of goods? And then obviously being able to break down the credit card fees, so on and so forth. So I'm going to back this up a bit here and kind of break this down. I'm going to remove the Heavenly Tone name just for the sake of the video here. But what I want you to notice is as I go ahead and move these numbers, right? So if let's just say our average order value for this brand is $50, credit card fees, 4%, merchant processing fees, 30 cents, shipping costs, $4, fulfillment costs per unit, if you're using like a 3PL as an example. And let's say our cost of goods on this $50 product is $10, right? Maybe we're selling earrings, whatever the case may be. Now, what I want you to notice is on the left-hand side, what this is doing is taking everything from the product costs, the fulfillment, the credit card fees, everything that we've given as far as these fixed fees per order. And it's kind of subtracting them and obviously going through a specific formula here, but it's walking us through, hey, what is the total costs of the product plus fulfillment to ship that product? So essentially, how much is the percentage of cost to get that product landed to the customer? So in this example, 
38%, meaning we have a 61% gross profit margin, meaning to break even, right? Our cost per acquisition would be $30. And that means we're making $0, right? And so what you can see here is this kind of gives the margin row as target, so the marginal row as target. So essentially our average order value, $50. COGS plus shipping is $19.30. In this example, our profit per order is $30.70. So to break even, we need a 1.63x return on ad spend. To sort of improve you can see as we start to scale so as we continue to go throughout this calculator there's a ton of different things at the bottom here the next part here is actually going to show you if we were spending ten thousand dollars a month what that would look like as far as profit at a 1.9x return on ad spend so even if we were spending ten thousand dollars a month with the numbers that i just put in with only a 1.9x return on ad spend the brand is going to be profiting one thousand six hundred and sixty six dollars and you can see how this sort of increases the more that we spend and the more that you know our return on ad spend with you know these product costs so that's just sort of how i want you guys to break this down that's how you can go ahead and start thinking about and being a little bit more comfortable in terms of figuring out how much should you be spending for your brand i'm not going to go into all these other things just a little bit outside of what is being detailed in this video but go ahead and click the link in the description guys grab this calculator mess around with everything that only says touchy essentially all the other green things and then that will make sure you can go ahead and figure out again what is your break even cost per acquisition and you can start your work your way backwards from there in terms of setting goal cost per acquisitions etc so as i was saying guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video gave you tons of value make sure you go ahead and click the link like i said in the description to make sure that you can grab that calculator make a copy on your google drive save this for yourself because this is so valuable and honestly probably one of the most important things that you need to understand from a business and brand owner perspective and a marketing perspective when it comes to being able to be confident with your marketing dollars figure out exactly what your break-even cost per acquisition is work your way backwards set your goals that way and make sure you can do it accurately so as always guys thank you for watching this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video